Mary and Martha send word to Jesus out in the, the uh, wilderness of the Jordan, where he was. They send word to him to say, Lazarus is sick. Come. And when Jesus hears that Lazarus is sick, then he stays two more days where he is. So by the time he gets to Lazarus, Lazarus has already been four days dead. Now we look at the other people in the scriptures who've been raised from the dead. For example, the son of the widow of Nain. He's on a funeral bier. Probably it was the day after he died. We look at the other people who were raised by Elijah or Elisha in the Old Testament. And when they raised the dead, it was either the day of or the day after that these young men had died. But here we see Jesus waiting intentionally to come to be with Lazarus and his family on the fourth day of his repose. And that's what Jesus called it. He is in sleep, right? Repose. So by the time Jesus gets there to the tomb, we can hear the frustration of Martha in her words. We don't have to try to imagine the scene, but we can certainly hear the frustration in Martha's voice, Lord, if you had only been here. It's like you were my last shot. And this was your friend. Where were you? This is all kind of implied in her statement. If only you had been here. We sent word. <clears throat> so there is Jesus then talking with Martha outside of the outside of the city at a place apart and they have this beautiful powerful dialogue where she confesses him to be the Christ the son of God and she sends for Mary and Mary comes and the Jews who are there consoling her follow her and now all of a sudden we go to the tomb and we see Jesus call Lazarus from the tomb. And what was previously thought to be completely beyond imagination, what was thought to be beyond possibility happened. And that is the rotting corpse of Lazarus, dead four days, was now raised from the dead. There are a couple of things that I want to highlight in the gospel today. One of them is this. When Jesus <clears throat> was out in the wilderness of the Jordan with his disciples, and word comes that he's to go to Bethany to help Lazarus, after he waits a couple days, then he says, let's go. And the disciples say, oh, Lord, they're... They're going to kill you. They've been trying to stone you. And then Thomas says something very, very powerful. And it's something that should challenge each of us today. He says, let us also go that we may die with him. So Holy Week is not just about personal piety. It's not just about the beauty and majesty of the Byzantine services, the gold, the candles, the incense, the choreography. I mean, all of these, these things have developed over time, and they're really beautiful. They're an expression of our love for God and our thankfulness to God, right? 
the Eucharisto, the Eucharist. But Holy Week is about us going and dying with him. It is about us being willing to follow Christ even if it costs us everything, including our life. These are prophetic words of Thomas spoken here at the beginning of Holy Week. Let us also go that we may die with him. And as we are sitting, wherever we are sitting, that is the question we have to ask ourselves, is that where our heart is right now? Is that the orientation of our soul to Christ, to the church, to Holy Week? Is our orientation that we, is, the, is our orientation that we are willing to go and die with him? Because this isn't, you know, the, the 14 services we're going to be doing this week. We had one last night, another one this morning, tomorrow, and then every day during Holy Week. All of these services, they're important to us. They're supposed to build us up. They're supposed to give us opportunities to worship the living God. But the question is, as we approach the, the services, is it our will to go and die with Christ. It's interesting, you know, that Thomas said that, but then next week, what do we see? We see the words, and they all forsook him and fled. Why? Because they had not yet received the Holy Spirit. We see what happens here in Holy Week. We see the apostles, they have good words, right? And Peter confesses him and, you know, even if I have to die, Lord, with you, right? They have the right words, but they did not yet have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit received at Pentecost. What happened after Pentecost? They were willing to go and die with him, and they did. All of them did, except for uh, the Apostle John. All of the apostles suffered martyrdom for the sake of Christ. They all finally fulfilled those words of the Apostle Thomas, let us also go and die with him. So all of us, that's what we do during Lent. We practice dying to ourselves. We practice denying ourselves our own selfish will, our selfish impulses. These things that we desire to do that are not good for us, either for our body or our soul. And because they have a negative effect on us, then they also hurt those around us. So we must remember this coming week, those words of the Apostle Thomas, let us also go that we may die with him. <coughs> Because Jesus says of himself right here, I am the resurrection and the life. And so when we die with him in baptism, we are being raised to new life. The other thing I wanted to point out was when Jesus sees Mary and Martha and the Jews that are with them, when he sees them weeping, when he sees their grief, he sees their sadness, he is moved by that sight to compassion. And we are told that he wept himself. So I want to encourage us as we are in this, this, this place where we're separated physically, where we can't be together, all of us, like we want to be, when we can't 
Be close to one another. Hug one another. Embrace one another. Even shake hands. We're so separated, really, that most of us can't even wave to each other because we're at different places in the city. But we have this comforting scene where we see Jesus witnessing the grief and the tears of his loved ones. So wherever we are, standing in your living room, standing in your prayer corner, sitting in a chair, driving in your car, whatever grief you feel, whatever loneliness, anxiety, separation, fear, whatever it may be, whatever the emotions are that we are feeling overwhelmed with at this point, and I know many are feeling shut in and overwhelmed. I've had more than one person text or call me saying that they felt like they were ready to go to the fifth floor. Right? That's the, that is, that's the floor at the hospital where people go when they are really struggling, struggling emotionally. So wherever we are, Whatever our grief, whatever our anxiety, whatever our fear, whatever our state, Jesus is observing our grief. And he is moved by it to compassion. And he himself, as we see in the gospel today, enters into our grief. He meets us where we are. Our tears are his tears. And his desire is that all of us would be raised to new life. That all of us would live with him and in him. So brothers and sisters, on this great Saturday of hope, where we see Lazarus raised from the dead, Jesus doing the impossible, the apostles willing to go and die, at least in word, and I think their desire was to go and be willing to die with him, even though they were overcome by fear. As all of this is taking place, let us prepare ourselves, both for tomorrow, for the triumphal entry into Jerusalem, and then through the services this week, let us continue to prepare ourselves for the passion of Christ. Let us remember on Wednesday the betrayal of Judas and run from it. Let us remember Thursday the Last Supper and sup with Christ. Let us remember Friday, the crucifixion of Christ. The whole creation turned on end. And we will remember Saturday morning, the destruction of Hades. And Saturday night, though we are separated physically, we will come together to celebrate the glorious resurrection of Christ and his conquering of the final enemy, death. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Let us say with our whole mind and with our whole, our whole heart, let us say, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again,
again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians, for our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and our Bishop Anthony, for all priests, deacons, and all of the clergy, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and pardon and remission of, of sins. For all of the servants of God who have asked us to pray for them unworthy as we are, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy temple, for all Orthodox, for all our fathers and brethren in the Orthodox part of this life before us who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who serve and those who sing, and for all the people here present who wait thy great and rich mercy. O Lord our God, accept this fervent supplication of thy servants. Have mercy upon us according to the multitude of thy mercy. Send on thy compassions upon us and upon all thy people who await the rich mercy that comes from thee. For thou art a merciful God, who lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bow your heads to the Lord, you catechumens. Lord, have no mercy. O Lord our God, who dwells on high, and regards the humble of heart, who has sent forth as the salvation of the race of mankind thine only begotten Son and God our Lord Jesus Christ. Look down upon thy servants, the catechumens, and inquirers who have bowed their necks before thee. Make them worthy in due season of the labor of regeneration, the remission of sins, and the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them with thy chosen flock, that with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again, and oftentimes we fall down before thee, and beseech thee, O good Lord, who loves mankind, that looking down upon our petition, you will cleanse our souls and bodies from all the defilement of flesh and spirit, Grant us to stand blameless and without condemnation before the holy altar. Grant also, O God, to those who pray with us growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them always blamelessly to serve thee with fear and love, to partake without condemnation of the holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom, that guarded always by thy might we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
Christ's holy one. Let us now lay aside all earthly cares that we may receive the King of all who comes and visits before in the name of the Holy Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.
of ages. Our Father, Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Anthony, may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere. May the Lord God remember also in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of their sins, especially for the sick and the suffering, for those suffering from the coronavirus, for those who are healthy, for their protection. May, may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For the members of all saints Orthodox Church, especially Valerie, Rafaud, Irina, John, Nisa, Amanda, John, Katie, Molly, Ephraim, Mazzy, Catherine, Elise, Nolan, Cody, Elizabeth, Joel, Felicity, Laura, Deacon Lawrence, and Marcia, Tony, Rachel, Paul, Juliana, Mary, Dan, Linda, Alicia, Maria, Aurelia, Lucia, Cora, Leanne, Steve, April, Abby, Paul, Lily, Jonathan, Awanda, Michael, Judith, Adriana, Phil, Charles, Kevin, Elaine, Megan, Sarah, Matthew, Kate, Gabriella, Braylon, Matthew, Laura, Wyatt, Kaya, Ezekiel, John, Bob, Deb, and James, Patricia, Micah, Eris, Griffin, Kaylee, Mallory, Theo, and Natchez, Vicky, William, Charlene, Free Marilyn, Catherine, Free Christina, Lance, Christian, Nina, Gregory, Hannah, Miriam, Anthony, for Marianne, Barb, Virginia, Jan, Donald, Dee, Reed, Becky, Karen, Alexandra, Nicholas, Tom, Aaron, Johanna, Michaela, Sarah, Kill, Michael, Olga, Nancy, Daryl, Aaron, Dan, Newman, Nicholas, Sophia, Melina, Sharon, Ariana, Avery, John, Gala, Andrew, Jad, Ray, and Max, Abe, Maria, Delaney, Caden, Galena, Thomas, Catherine, Michael, Father Sarah, Fimmon, Kripa, Skiva, Daniel, Galena, Zane, Heidi, Lena, Paula, Vivian, Brian, David, Claudio, Kathleen, Mateo, Jeremy, Ashley, Alexander, Alice, Marvin, Amy, Mara, Andreas, Lee, Thomas, and family, Tanya, Shannon, Shirley, Daniel, Jennifer, Ava, Tristan, Bob, and Nina, Hal, Michael, Missy, Adam, Noah, Taylor, Amber, Valentina, Kira, Gabriel, Marina, Raisa, Chris, Cleo, Nick, Ben, George, Lena, Taya, Karen, James, Veronica, Arena, Maria, Maria, Valeria, Rita, Howard, Rhonda, Jeff, Irene, Alexandra, Max, and Emily. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For the servants of God be part of this life, in the hope of the resurrection, especially for the newly departed, infant Samuel, Pastor Tim, and Steve. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All of you and those whom you are remembering, may the Lord God remember also in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. No more that he may receive the 
and sorrowing, he leadeth in a new tomb. In the grave of the body, but in Hades with the soul, as God in Christ. He, on the throne of the Father, and the Spirit was thou, Christ, filling all things, thyself, uncircumscribed. Do go to Lord of Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, and you should be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer young bullocks upon thine altar. And then they shall offer young bullocks upon thine altar. And then they shall offer young bullocks upon thine altar. As giving life is more splendid than paradise and more radiant than any royal chamber, O Christ, has shown forth thy tomb, the fountain of our resurrection. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence and the fear of God and true therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Calling for remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most, most blessed, holy, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o, Lord. o Lord God Almighty, who alone art holy, who dost accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon thee with their whole heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners and bear it to thy holy altar, and enable us to offer, to offer unto thee gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of the people, and make us worthy to find grace in thy sight, that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto thee, that the good spirit of thy grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here offered, and upon all thy people. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Christ is in our midst. The doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before our worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures. 
and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is saved by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is me and right to worship God the Son and Holy Spirit. thanks unto thee also for this ministry which thou dost not safe to receive in our hands even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels the cherubim and the seraphim six winged many eyes soaring aloft borne on their pinions saying the triumphal hymn shouting proclaiming and saying holy 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 lord of sabbath Son, that all who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Who, when he had come and fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather, he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. For the remission of sins. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Having in remembrance, therefore, this saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Thine own of thine own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all, and for all. We pray. Send now thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. 
and that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ, Amen. changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto the cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone on before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, the holy, glorious, all laudable apostles, the saints that we celebrate today, and of all thy saints at whose supplications look down upon us, O God, be mindful of all those who have fallen asleep before us in the hope of the resurrection unto life everlasting, and grant them, O God, with rest, where the light of thy countenance shines upon them. And again, we beseech thee, be mindful, O Lord, of every bishop of the Orthodox who rightly divide the word of thy truth of all the priesthood, the diaconate, and Christ, every heretic and monastic order. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in chastity and holiness of life, for all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere. Grant them, O Lord, peaceful times, that we, in their tranquility, may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and holiness. Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and our Bishop Anthony, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth? And of all mankind. Be mindful, Lord, of those who travel by sea, land, and air, of the sick and the suffering, captives in their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches, and who remember the poor. And upon us all send forth thy mercies, and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise that all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altars, an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us from return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and each other in our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. Unto thee we commend our whole life and our hope, O Master who loves mankind. And we beseech thee, and we pray thee, and we supplicate thee. Make us worthy to partake of the heavenly and terrible mysteries of this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience, unto remission of sins, unto forgiveness of transgressions, 
unto communion of the Holy Spirit, unto inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. And vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King invisible, who by thy measureless power has made all things, and in the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from non-existence into being. Do thou thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee. For they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but to thee the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea and air. Journey with those who travel by land. Heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of that only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with that all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place, and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sittest on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us <clears throat> thine immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all thy people. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. Yes. 
Son of man that thou visitest him. Out of the mouths of infants, infants and sucklings, thou hast perfected, praise thou hast perfected, praise. Thou hast made known the Lord thy angels with glory and honor. Set him over the works of thy hands. Out of the mouths of infants, infants and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise, thou hast perfected praise. For I will behold the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast founded. Out of the mouths of infants, infants and sucklings, thou hast perfected, praise thou hast perfected. Or the son of man that thou visitest him out of the mouths of infants, infants and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise, <laughs> thou hast perfected praise. Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels with glory and honor hast thou crowned him, and thou hast set him over the works of thy hands. Out of the mouths of infants, infants and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise, thou hast perfected Fear of God, with faith and love drawing near. is he who dwelleth in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us. Our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, has imparted another servant of God alone by the remission of his sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Precious, O holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the remission of your sins unto life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> receives the precious, a holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the remission of her sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Oh, 
to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by the divine power and forsake us not of hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love toward mankind always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who 
by raising Lazarus from the dead, confirm the universal resurrection for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, former Baptist John, of the holy glorious and laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Pesos, and Archbishop of Constantinople, <clears throat> whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy glorious right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy and righteous Lazarus of four days, the friend of Christ, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, the patrons and protectors of our holy community, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. <clears throat> Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed and glorious Lazarus Saturday to all of you. Um, blessed feast. And we will look forward to seeing everyone, God willing, tomorrow morning. Matins is at 9 o'clock. Divine Liturgy at 10 a.m. for Palm Sunday. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me, sinner, but hast vouchsafed me to become a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me, the unworthy, to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who loves mankind, who didst both die for us and rise again, and didst bestow upon us these thy dread and life-giving mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant that they may be for me also unto healing of soul and body, and to the averting of everything contrary thereto, unto the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, unto the peace of my spiritual powers, unto faith unashamed, unto love unfeigned, unto increase of wisdom, unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, unto growth in thy divine grace and the attainment of thy kingdom, that preserved by them in thy holiness I may ever remember thy grace, and henceforth live not unto myself, but unto thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when this life is ended in the hope of eternal life, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the voice of those who keep festival is unceasing, and the delight of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art the true desire and unutterable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation hymns thee forever. Amen. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages and maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for this partaking of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries. Wherefore, I pray thee, who art good and lovest mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant unto me with a pure conscience, and even unto my last breath, to partake of thy holy things and the forgiveness of sins, and unto life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who willingly dost give thy flesh to me as food, thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy, consume me not, O my Creator, but rather pass through all my body parts, unto all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn thou the thorns of all my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and hallow thou my thoughts. Make firm my knees and my bones likewise. Enlighten as one my five senses. Establish me wholly in thy fear. Ever shelter me, guard, and keep me from every soul-corrupting deed and word. Cleanse me, purify, and control me. Adorn me, teach, and enlighten me. Show me to be a dwelling place of thy spirit, and in no wise the dwelling place of sin. That from me thy habitation through the entrance of thy communion, every evil deed and every passion may flee as from fire. As intercessors, I bring to thee all the sanctified, both the leaders of the bodiless powers, thy forerunner and thy wise apostles, and besides these, thine immaculate and pure mother. Do thou receive their prayers, O my Christ, who art compassionate, and make thy servant to be a child of the light. For thou alone, O good one, art the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and to thee as God and Master, day by day, we all ascribe glory. May thy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for life eternal and thy precious blood, and the forgiveness of my sins. May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and at thy fearful second coming, make me, the sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. 
through the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. O all holy lady, Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast accounted me worthy, although unworthy, to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy son. But do thou, who gave us birth to the true light, enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. O thou who didst bear the fountain of immortality, enliven thou me who lie dead in sin. O compassion, loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me, and grant me compunction and contrition of heart, and humility in my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings. And account me worthy, even into my last breath, to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries, unto the healing of both soul and body. And grant unto me tears of repentance and confession, that I may hymn thee and glorify thee all the days of my life, for blessed and glorified art thou unto all ages. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In confirming the common resurrection, O Christ God, thou didst raise up Lazarus from the dead before thy passion. Wherefore, we also, like the children, bearing the symbols of victory, cry to thee, the vanquisher of death, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like fire hath enlightened the universe and hath disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness, and hath shown us the heights of humility. But as thou didst instruct us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word, Christ God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive divine grace, and by thy lips thou didst teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O venerable John Chrysostom, the all-blessed, worthily do we extol thee, for thou art an instructor that dost reveal things divine, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The church is revealed to all as a brilliantly lit heaven, leading the faithful in the way of life. Standing there, we cry aloud, make firm the foundation of this house, O Lord. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Yara boram, yara boram, yara boram, dwamim riyeshte, dwamim riyeshte, dwamim riyeshte. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and are truly fair tokos, we magnify thee. Blessed Father, in the name of the Lord. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 